Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Rise Grease Gaming, and this time we have a replay from Achi Scarecrow 443 again, you know, that guy again. But this time, not a German, but an American, and I think you guys know this ship, the Tier 9 American Concept Battleship Georgia. Now, we already did a view review on this thing in the Premium Work uh, Spotlight. If you guys don't know the premium spotlight, uh, click this link below up at the top right. Um, that will get you to it, so you can actually watch that. There's a lot of videos on any premiums in the game, and reviews and stuff like that. Now, forewarning, i um, having a little bit of head cold issue, so bear with my uh, audio here and sometimes my nostrils here, because, you know, when you get stuffed up once a time with seasonal allergies, it's kind of a bitch to keep talking. Anyway. Back to the match. So we're at hot spot, and boy, Georgia has been the pride and joy of some people. It's been a lot of fun, this dang thing. So, Georgia, 18 inch guns. Uh, if we could fast speed boost to make it a French meme with secondary strapped onto it, like the Massachusetts and many others in between, um, I think that pretty much sums it up. And, well, look what just showed up with the party. Hello, Cleveland. There goes the rounds, and survey says... Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's what the Georgia will do. <laughs> yeah. That's no-brainer that is going to happen. Like I said, allergies here. Now, the nice thing about it, because the Georgia only has six guns compared to nine, they did upgrade the reload to quite a bit quicker, and that has helped a lot of people do from one thing to almost killing ships in a heartbeat. I was I was waiting for actually that happening, but no, it, it doesn't happen there. So the Cleveland lasts, uh, lives for another few minutes, probably. It's the number Cleveland. It might have a uh, very good radar, high acoustic, and pretty decent uh, guns for its tier at tier 8 now. Um, it don't mean squat when it's getting citadeled and ripped up like Swiss cheese out there. Now, there's a needy out there, and he's, you know, Scarecrow sees it. There it is. Yeah, the French DD bastard. And he's getting focused right now, because the carrier's seeing him, he's focusing him. Now, hopefully, this carrier keeps spotting him. He did switch to high explosive, man. Ugh, oh, that's the problem with these, this ship, and I will point that out to you guys in full harpy. The guns are accurate, but when they miss, it kills you, because you know it was bloody close. Sorry, I'll just get like I said. But the nice thing is the reload's pretty quick, so take two. Let's go for another round. Shows out. And it looked mighty good, and yep, there it is. So that's Scarecrow's first blood, and that's the first ship down in this match. Now, let's look at the map over here. Just, just, we'll get plus it real quick a little bit. As you can see, the enemy is flipping sea. There's not much contesting that position. Um, we already lost a cruiser just now. We lost the Yoko, which he was positioned trying to guess defend sea of all things when he has enough support. Go figure. And now there's two battleships just around the cap there. A cruiser and another battleship. And those ships in question, Bismarck, Gneisenau, and a Nelson. And it looks like he's going for that Nelson. Let's get there for those rounds. Nope. Let's go for the Bismarck. The ship but is on fire. He's another guy now. He was lucky enough that the shells were able to be accurate for that. And there goes the secondaries. Like I said, allergies. Sorry. And we just noticed something with this guy. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Emperor. You might want to back off or move or something. Out of his way. Thank you. And that was some massive damage to that Bismarck. Now the nice thing about wait a minute. Is that guy got Yeah he does. That's a non-camo Bismarck. Okay. Just send him the TV Joe's locker, please. There's Scarecrow. This guy needs to be exterminated. Thank you. 
I'm sorry, but if you're playing this shit, the game as long as I had, you should know to check your camos. I mean, I've done it in the past, but come on. Watch yourself when you get it. Just reload the Type 5s, they're good. Alright, anyway, back to the match. So that's the second kill, and we're already still racking up second age. We're up to 40 plus 21. We're still adding more to that, so before you know it, there's going to be a lot more. Let's do this real quick. Let's, let's point this out with five fights. Let's, I want to have a challenge to you guys before this end of this match goes. Guess how many secondaries Scarecrow is going to get by the end of this match. And, uh... Let's just have this a family comp friendly competition in the, in the chat. It's uh, just in the uh, comments down below. So, go ahead, pause the match, pause the game, uh, pause the video, whatever you think between. And write that in the down in the comments. What do you think about the secondary? She's just gonna get in this match. Meanwhile, let's go look over here. While he's working on that shit. We got. TDDs over there, Benaham and Rubidor trying to get the VCAP, but there's another Benaham over there, and the Baltimore and St. Louis are not doing much assistance that should make it anything crazy. And here comes the Nelson. And boy, is he not looking too good. And Scare Scarecrow's focusing on him. Secondaries away, but too late. Good nice snow killed him. So that's one less ship in the game. So they're down two, they're down to two too, so it's not looking fantastic. Alright, yeah, Scarecrow's fighting high schools with that guy, but hey. Close quarters. That's one left ship on the enemy team. All stations requesting fire on the designated. And there's an enemy DD out there. Hey, Scarecrow. Maybe it might be now the time to get out of there and start helping these guys, right? <laughs> And we play this get spotted, and this is what else is really good with the Georgia. It does have the Iowa's AA build, so it's got fantastic AA defense for itself. And because of that, he was able to take care of those planes and pretty much stop them from going around. Hey, Scarecrow, stop getting on the island, stop pulling monsters, let's go. <laughs> Oh man. Meanwhile, let's see. We got behind us, we have a Massachusetts. Hipper was pushing out and was hoping for assistance, and well, he got assistance for sure. From not Scarecrow. <laughs> but Scarecrow actually is going to try and do something here, try to help out some shape or form. There goes the shells. Yeah, they were. Looking like they were misaligned, but apparently they were aligned correctly. And here comes the shells. And we're a miss. So hopefully he gets out of this position and actually starts helping this team. And oh, hello. There's the enemy York. And the enemy Musashi. So what's Scarecrow going to do? Well, he's going to go forward here. And get himself around this island and finally be able to shoot something for once, which you can see is the Seattle out there. 19 kilometers, that's quite a distance. But the nice thing about it is these guns do have a fantastic Sigma and pretty good accuracy. Not the greatest, they're not laser accurate, but they're pretty laser accurate. And if you get a lucky shot, well, it just means bonus points for you. However, if the ship turns, no dice for you. So, three kills, five fires, close quarters, first blood, and we got ourselves 110,000 damage. Yeah, that sounds about fair. <laughs> Sashi is currently running away from the Ganice now, which has been giving him quite the problem, but, well, Sashi's got bigger guns. And, well, yeah, that just happened. Sashi just got saved by the bell by a Benaham who didn't have a major amount of brain cells and fired his shells, his torpedoes, right into nearing or around his own allies. Allies. Sounds completely smart to do. Thank you. And 
Sam's character is getting ready for another rally high explosive. One good volley of meat, he should finish this guy, but then he cancels it. Because, yes, he's using expert loader. Within a few seconds, he can switch it to armor piercing, and, well. Ugh. One shell penetrated, but that's still 3,000 damage. And that guy is no wonder how far he's gonna run away. He can't run fully run away from freaking Scarecrow. Only takes a few more secondaries and he is toast. And he boost activated, so there's nowhere he can run. Big folly out, and well, that should do it. And Scarecrow's not gonna turn his just just turn his t attention to these folks. And yes. Crack of a leash, close quarters, double strike. Yep, and here comes the f commander. Remember guys, if you get a double strike in this ship, you get yourself a little bit of a bonus. <laughs> yes, he is running Admiral Halsey in this thing, so yes, you do get a nice added bonus for getting the double strike. And here comes the rockets. Of course, they set them on fire. Pick a few little AA modules out here and there, but. The ship is on fire! It's kind of a. No problem at all, because honestly, the amount of um, modules he has and the amount of health he has, and because that's a tier bloody 7 going after him, no problem at all. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, allergies again. So, we're now at 143,000 damage, 213 secondary hits, first blood, two close quarters, a double strike, and we're not done yet. There's another playing guild helping out his fellow BB there. You know, Massachusetts probably didn't need that much assistance. It's better than having none at all. And the York is still trying to shoot over behind that island, which, good move on the York. York is a fantastic tier 7 cruiser, but right now, this team, this this team that's on the enemy side needs to do something. Because right now, the way this is all set up, and yes, here it is, Massachusetts is going in, and he's going to start taking and flipping C. And there is nothing stopping Scarecrow's team from actually flipping all the caps here and getting this match in the bag. They have to do something, that enemy team. You can't just sit behind an island and just say, Oh, well, it's it. I give up. Don't give up. You gotta keep trying. And what they're inside. doing right now is basically just... Oh, I guess one brave man has decided to come out. One brave sailor. I'm going out here. I'll get him. Yeah, not so much. Especially with now Scarecrow activating his confederate, which now his guns reload just as quick. And there's the close quarters. Hey Cleveland, you want to join him? You do? Okay, here. Take some shells. Oh, that didn't work enough for you? Hold on, we'll reload. <laughs> See, with the confederate skill, he could just do this all day. Scarecrow, slow down. Shells just get over the island and yes, close quarters. You didn't get it with the shells, but you did get it with the secondaries. Just enough damage by the top of the ship to kill him. So now that's seven kills, wiping out the two cruisers. And the only thing now left is that aircraft carrier, which Massachusetts sees it, Betaham sees it, and the other destroyer over there. Who's that? Oh wait, that's the <laughs> hello, Bugador. <laughs> Great, great evil little French destroyer. Unfortunately, Scarecrow is now out of speed boosts. He does have his heels activated, and now they stopped capping. Let's see, but for God's sakes, it's no point. They are down. Oh, just lost a ship right there. Mogador just died by the rockets. Which, it was bound to happen. The only thing left now is the Massachusetts, Benham, which is near dead, and Scarecrow. And, well, there's some torpedoes in the water for that Kaga. Question is, does he kill him with the torpedoes? Looks like no. 
So, Scarecrow, can you take care of this problem for us? You know, this, this leftover carrier, the Shukaku, not a Kaga. He seems to be quite still alive. Seems to be a problem. Oh, you will? Okay, take care of it for us. <laughs> now, this time, can you kill him? Please, by all means. I mean, your 18-inch guns should should do quite quite well taking care of our problem. Oh, they're gonna overpay? Uh, I would put a complaint into Wargaming for those shells not being your good friend today. It's alright. <laughs> and Scarecrow leaves that match with 7 kills, 45 target hits, 6 fires, 19 planes of that enemy shot down, 3 criticals, 2 citadels, of course you know by truly, and if you guys voted, near, let's say, 220 secondaries to 200 secondaries. I'll see if the, like, 230 secondary hits. You're pretty much spot on. <laughs> Three close quarters, double straight, a devastating strike, crack and unleash, confederate, high caliber, and first blood. Yeah. Yeah, that actually happened. <laughs> of course, top of the team. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Scarecrow. I mean, it was a pretty fun one to actually watch. I definitely had my myself smiling at the end of that one, uh, pretty much through it all the way around. Um, if you guys have your own, please submit it to Worship Replays and uh, provide the link via email or by Discord, which is down in the description down below. And if you guys have anything, uh, always like, subscribe as well. Always helps us out a bit especially those likes. As always, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in the next video.